today, I want to help identify with you the things that make a difference to be successful. And then, folks, I can't do it for you. You understand that? Then if I can, if, if AOEs can give you the products, give you the commission, give you the image, give you the support, give you everything in the world you need to win, right? And if I can somehow have you focus in every week on the things that, that really would give you a chance to win for your family. Now, folks, you understand that's all we can do, right? And then it's up to you to get off with your dadgum spouse and then do a little soul searching and then see if winning, is that BS? Is that BS? See, you just BS people very, just for a certain period of time, right? You probably spent your whole dadgum life telling your spouse, boy, you're lucky, honey. Man, you married a double stud. Man, I'm going to do all this. Well, bull, right? Well, just look at what you've done, right? Well, I, I, I'm not going to tell you things that aren't so. I'm going to tell you what you got to do to win. And this is important for you because I built A.O. Williams, folks, to represent America. I, want, I pray almost every day, said, Dear Lord, please give us a chance to make a difference in America, a difference for good. Help us really keep our priorities straight. Help us not to ever become, try to become somebody we're not. Help us to go out there and make a real difference for people's families in America today. Help us to be one of the good things that are happening uh, in America. Let me define for you conservative and liberal. And if you went to the dictionary, you might see a whole different definition of this, okay? But I'm going to give you a football coach's definition of uh, conservative and liberal. As far as opportunity, a conservative like me would say, uh, I believe everybody deserves a chance to win in business, to make a lot of money, to save a lot of money, to buy a big house, to have a great standard of living. I believe everybody deserves a chance to make it in America. That's why we created America. You know, every man's created free. You know, you, you're free to go out and make it or not make it. You deserve a chance to make it. A liberal believes everybody deserves success. They believe everybody deserves a promotion. Everybody deserves a house. Everybody deserves an income. Everybody, I, I don't believe that. I believe you deserve an opportunity to be successful. As far as finances, me, the way I run A.O. Williams from a conservative approach is I believe you live beneath your means. You know, you have all these financial plans talk about live within your means. Boy, you never get ahead if you live within your means, right? You live beneath your means. You're always trying to save money, right? You set a goal of financial independence up here. You're always trying to set money aside for a rainy day, for an emergency, right? So you can keep your business going and get, and it, that's, that's what I believe. Keep expenses low. Save, save, save. Now I'm fixing to make a point on this. Now some of you might, I say, Art, I hear this over and over and over again. Well, some of you don't, don't, don't act like you hear it. The way you spend money now, the liberal says, spend, spend. Man, while the time's good, let it all, let it all rip. Go out there and buy a big office. Uh, go, go spend. Go, go increase your uh, standard of living. Man, the good days are going to be here forever. Bull. My conservative approach to winning at A.O. Williams, number one, at A.O. Williams, you got to understand, folks, the company can't win for you. A.O. Williams believes that every man or woman that chooses to come to work at A.O. Williams deserves an opportunity to win. That don't mean we're going to let you win, right? Because we ain't got no control over that, right? It's up to you, right? Now, folks, don't think our TV, our products, our money, everything is going to win for you. That's not. You will decide. People win. Products don't win. Commissions don't win. Money don't win. My conservative approach tells me that people win. You've got to be a winner. You've got to think like a winner. You've got to act like a winner. You've got to perform like a winner. Number two, you've got to develop an attitude of always doing it first. See, I believe a great leader, conservative leader, that's going to lead his people to victory. He always does it first. You do first whatever you want your people. Don't ever be too proud to say, sick them. You go out and do the, the slave mentality, this plantation mentality I talk about, right? See, I don't believe in that. I believe the leader, the guy that, that's, that's making the most money, that's getting off. I believe you go out and do what you want your people to do. Show your people, prove to your people that this thing works. You want your people to prospect, you prospect. You want your people to recruit, you recruit first. You want your people to sell, you want your people to make money, you want your people to save money, you do. You want your people to be positive, you want your people to be excited. You, you, you spend your life doing all those kind of things first. Number three, 
You win one-on-one. -on -one. You win in football, folks, by blocking, tackling, being in better condition in competition. I don't care. You see football teams win with eye formation, wing tee, pro set, folks. I'm flat telling you. There's a difference in a winner, and it's so thin, it's almost unbelievable, right? And the fundamentals are the key. You better be fundamentally strong at A.O. Williams. You better be a field trainer. You better recruit one-on-one. -on -one. You better be able to fight the competition, do the tough things. Number four, you better build crusaders. See, the, see, 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 my philosophy in business is this is more than a business. See, I really believe, folks, that if you come to AOE as motivated by the money first, you'll never see the money. That's my whole philosophy in business. Because you're, everybody that makes it big is going to go through crap. There's no easy way. You're going to get, you know, I have all these people that say, boy, Art, I recruited a stud. Man, I ain't never seen the quality people I'm recruiting. I just hope they don't have to go through the crap we had to go through. Everybody's going to go through the crowd. Everybody deserves an opportunity to get killed and see if they believe it, to see if they're tough. There right? ain't no easy way, right? And the way you win this business is building crusaders. Man, you've got to love it. In order to make the big money, you've got to be, believe in the cause. You've got to be emotional. Body language is the most powerful thing in the world. People can just feel if you believe, if you really are doing what's right, for, if it's an emotional thing. Number five, keep expenses low. I just had a meeting with that led to some of my tirade this morning, you know. Uh, Bob Busan was visiting somebody, uh, Bob Miller was visiting somebody this week out on the West Coast and said this SVP's office is expensive like $5,500 to $6,000. And I know what kind of money they're making. I'm not going to promote those people to NSDs. I, I want you to know, folks, if you want to be an NSD, one of the things I'm really seriously thinking right now is I'm going to make you, probably make you file a financial statement or something. And I want you to know, if you're not good at managing your money, if you're not a good example, then folks, ain't nothing I can do about that. I've been a good example. And if you're not capable of leading your people in those areas, keeping your expenses down, being, I don't want no phonies. I don't want no dadgum promoters like these. This is a for real, honest to goodness thing. We're going to pay off for the right kind of men and women. And I don't want to make this thing something it's not. I don't want to impress the wrong kind of people with the wrong kind of things. You keep expenses low. You save, save, save. You can't save too much money. But buddy, you better keep moving forward and you better keep doing the things that uh, pay off at A.O. Williams. We ain't done. Now, I know that a lot of people in Philadelphia, you say, boy, I didn't know anybody from the South could be so tough and nasty, okay? Well, and then you might come down here and you might say, Art, right. you know, you just wear my butt out. I hear all this crap every Monday, all that crap. Well, uh, now, I'll tell you what, if I was one of you and I wanted to make it big, I'd love to have a chief executive officer like Art Williams looking at Dad Gum Eye every Monday and tell you how to cow choose corn, right? Isn't that right? I mean, by God, I, I mean, I, I, I kicked you in the butt good this morning, right? Well, you need to be kicked in the butt, right? Is anybody in this room where you want to be? Folks, it is a tough world. It's tough to win. It's tough to keep getting winning, right? There's people out there just looking for an opportunity to knock your butt off, right? Well, you've got to get up early in the morning to get a head start on this dude, right? Because I want to die winning. You, you hear me? You hear me, folks? I want to die winning, right? I want to die bearing the dadgum competition's butt out there.